Hey, this is Jeff Trotman. This is a very short introduction to the HTTP protocol. HTML and HTTP sound very similar and are both associated with web browsing. HTML is how web pages are formatted. Browsers render the HTML content that they get from web servers into web pages that we're used to seeing. But how does the web browser retrieve the HTML from a web server? That's where HTTP comes in. HTTP is a network protocol that specifies how browsers and web servers communicate. Here's a quick overview. When you type a URL into the browser's address and hit enter, the browser sends an HTTP request to a web server, which sends back an HTTP response. Here's a little bit more about what's happening. The request contains information like the URL, verb, headers, sometimes a body, potentially cookies. We'll talk more about this in a second. The web server sends back a response that consists of headers and a body. The HTML that the browser is going to render is contained in the HTTP request body. This will make more sense with an example. So I've got a couple of URLs that we're going to look at here. The second one is an HTTP sample that I'm about to show on the screen. Postman is a useful tool for making HTTP calls outside a browser. So we'll talk about that a little bit as well. This application has got some very basic web pages in so that we can concentrate on just the fundamentals here. If we go look at HTTP, HTTP basics and then click the first link, this is about the simplest web page that you can have. I'm going to hit F12 on my browser to bring up the dev tools. F12 works on Chrome, Edge, and Firefox, and it's similar behavior with each. What this lets us do is see some things that are going on behind the scenes with the browser. If I go refresh this page, this line in the network trace is basically the HTTP request that was sent from my browser to the web server. If I look in the headers, you can see I've got the general section, I've got the response headers, and I've also got the request headers. On the diagram before, we showed that there are headers that are sent both on the request and on the response. This is our verb. We sent a GET request to this address where the web server lives, and the web server responded with this in the body. The response includes the headers that we can see over here, but mostly it includes the body, which is the HTML that the browser is going to render right here. Again, very, very simple. If we go back, and I'm going to keep clearing this so that we can focus on um, simple things. If I go click on the second link, now I've got the same page, but I've got an image. This is the call to the web page, sorry, to the web server. It, re it replies with the HTML, but it includes a link to another file. So as the browser is putting the page together, it looks at this HTML element and sees a link to an image. It's going to use the URL that's in the source and go make a separate call to the web server. And it could be a different web server. It doesn't have to be the same one. And this is going to go retrieve the image and the browser is going to assemble them. So in this case, the document return is returned from the primary HTTP request it includes HTML. The HTML links are resolved with additional HTTP calls to go get them. If we come back, and I'm going to clear this to get rid of the clutter, now I've got one that is going to include not only an image, but it's got a style sheet and a JavaScript file. If we look at the response. Here's the HTML. I've got my image, but I've also got a link to a JavaScript file and the CSS. As you can see, different HTTP requests are being made to download the CSS file, to download the JavaScript file, and then to get the image. Very, very basic. Uh, the CSS has um, told the browser to set the background gray, and I've got a simple JavaScript function that when I click the image, the dog says woof. 
If I come back, so far all three of these have been gets. There is no body in a get request. We, it's technically called the verb, but you can just think of it as the request type. If I clear this one more time and do an HTML form, typically in web browsing, most things are going to be gets unless you need to send some additional information to the web server, which case we're going to use a post. So if I make up uh, my card and say I am, my suite is hearts and my card is eight and submit, I submitted that data to the web server with a post. This is the first one that if we come here and look at the headers, here's a get. This is what showed the, we downloaded the HTML that showed the form in the first place. But now we've done a post to send the data on, on a get. I don't have the payload, which shows the body that's submitted, but on the post, I've got a payload and we can see here's what was actually sent from the browser to the web server as part of the post. I can hear they're cleaning it up a little bit, um, but that's the, the raw data that's actually being sent. That's a very quick introduction to HTTP. As you move into browsers calling APIs, you're going to use other verbs, put, patch, delete, but they are all going to work like post where there's data in the body. We can use Postman to make these calls outside of a browser. This is Postman. I mentioned it before, the URLs and the notes. This is a tool to send and receive HTTP requests and responses outside of a browser. This is the URL that was the very simple web page in the first place. Here, I can send a get to this URL, and this is my response, which is HTML. I can also see the headers that are sent back, which um, unless you go into dev tools in a browser, you're not going to see that. Gets are pretty easy to do in a browser, but once you need to start doing posts and testing that, you have to design an HTML form if you're going to do this in a browser. It's much easier to do this in Postman. So here I am going to post to this address that's the form. Here are the form values that I want to post that are going to be part of the request body that's sent. When I send that, I get this response. And that's Postman. This has been a very quick introduction to HTTP. Hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching.